All right, guys, welcome back to Icarus. Having a lot of fun. And that last one was class. We found some amazing creatures, amazing animals, and we've broken our way through to the canyons. I was in the workshop and I have unlocked the MXC pickaxe. This game is constantly getting patches and updates. There's a patch um, or a, a hotfix at least every week, and they're bringing new features and new missions and new gameplay mechanics. It's really, really cool. The community is 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 really vibrant and whatever the community are finding they're reporting and these guys are addressing it as much as they can as quickly as they can i've got to say hats off to the de developers on this one and also they've added harder versions of existing missions today we're going to be doing something called a death ray scan let's find out a little more about this they've been noticing your work and want to take advantage of new territory if they can get terrain data, they can plan new drop zones. Open the place wide up. You got this? I got this. Uh, let's do it. I guess we're going to go into the canyon. All right, we have a bucket load of blueprint points, which we can utilize at some points. 17 blueprint points, but three talent points. I also found out something uh, the other day where you, your max level is level 40 at the moment i'm sure they'll increase that as time goes by or but we're in the canyon they need help even out here they want scans of the region terrain data so they can open up new drop zones and get prospectors into the area sites are on your map so grab a radar and get going wow look at this place it is beautiful gorgeous gorgeous world and uh, i noticed one thing immediately, there is a lot less vegetation here. That's going to be very significant in this biome. However, maybe the yield is higher. No, it's not. So this is going to be uh, an absolute must, is to immediately go grab as many resources as you can. It's not going to be as easy to find as it was in the uh, the forest. And stone, I suppose stone is going to be relatively easy. They're just slightly different colour. So, oh, I love this game. I love this world. I love the. I love what they're doing. I think it's a fantastic game. And if you guys haven't played it, I mean, go pick it up. It's, it's not exactly an expensive game. And it's worth every penny. Best survival game I think I've played. And I've played a few. And the good thing with having now my my loadout ready to go. In fact, I'm going to drop back into first person. It's a little easier to farm. Uh, what was I saying a minute ago? Uh, sorry, the best thing about having your loadout ready to go is you already come straight down to the planet with weapons available, which is superb. And of course, the more and more you unlock, the easier it will be every time. And really, you just start scrabbling around for food, building items, rather than the weapons that you need. What is that? Okay, I'm not sure it matters. So, heat is probably going to become an issue in this. Oh, we have got zebras. Can we? Yes, we can. Let's get a bow done. And before we get anything else done, we better start crafting. How many of these? Let's get some stone arrows ready. See how easy it is to kill zebras. Make a little bit of a change from the deer. missed him okay we might have to follow this guy oh that was a good hit but he's he's a pretty strong zebra damn you damn you zebra oh he's buggered off a long way all the way up to the top of this gorgeous looking waterfall so back to what i was saying in the dropship the max level i believe is level 40 now that means every time you unlock a new level you get a talent point right that means there is a maximum of 40 talent points up for grabs you can continue earning blueprint points apparently if you keep on i don't know if you level up or if you keep on exploring but you can't get any more talents beyond 40. there's the zebra he's buggered off what's the what's the music for Oh, Jesus, that's why. Come on. 
There we go. All right, well, now we know. <laughs> Zebras might have been a bit hard to get hold of, but cougars, they come to us. The second most dangerous animal in the game. He's mine. All right, let's check the map. What have we got? So we've got a pickup location over here. Um, and I love the river flow. This is kind of cool. We have to think about where we build a base. But maybe not just yet. We'll have to wait till the end of the day for that. I need to start thinking about some building materials. I might see... Oh, I don't have an axe yet. I have to craft an axe. I don't have the MXC axe available to me. We're going to need some more stone. Oh, God damn you! Oh, how do you like a pickaxe? Not so much, eh? <laughs> I just didn't have time to think about what I was doing. So this pickaxe increases the yield. You can see it's, it's a lot quicker at actually getting through this stuff. I think our zebra's long gone. He's trotted off somewhere. Oh, God. Shouldn't have done this. Got away with it. Let me just grab some stone. I've got to get some wood to start thinking of building. Then, uh... A stone axe is all I can do. Let's get the campfire ready to go. We're going to need to get some armor going as well. Let's start with the headpiece. Ah, there's a zebra lying down. I wonder... I wonder... I wonder if this is our fella. Oh, it must have been. Uh-oh. Gotta take him. I've gotta take him before they see me. I don't think he's the only one either. Oh, here we go. Not fun. Thank you. Oh, damn it. Lost it. I lost an arrow there. But it's only a stone arrow. Let's be fine. We'll craft some bone ones in a minute. So this place already, I mean, feels... More dangerous animals lying around. Oh, my dead zebra got a boar interested, and there's two of them and a hyena heading towards the zebra body. Get up on this rock. Look at that. They're just concentrating on my on my kill. Right, hyena. Oh, I've got no, got no more arrows. Um, right. Okay. <laughs> Hot hog down. What? Did he get me? I think this one's been driven mad. Driven mad by the arrow that I put in him. Well, we're going to get plenty of meat. Um, right. Very, very low health. Food is a problem. A gregarious migratory grazer and icon of the savannah. Cut down in his prime. Where did we get coconuts? Oh, for God's sake. It's relentless. Get up. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Oof, I knew it was going to be tough. I knew it was going to be tough, but I didn't think it'd be that difficult. Right, got to wait. I've got to respawn. God knows where I'm going to end up. I love the way it says it here in with an exclamation. Survival gear recommended, it says. Right, where the hell are we? It almost feels familiar. Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Right, there it is. Okay, not too bad then. Right, give me all my stuff. Okay, there we go. Right, now we should have a little bit of wood. We can get this cooking. 
Um, I'm presuming it's going to attract a few animals just from the pure gorgeous smell of this meat. But we're going to need it pretty quickly. Thankfully, I, I lost all that health, of course, in the fight, but you come down regenerated, so it's not too bad. So it might be a good idea to just carry on a chopping. And I should get an increased yield, which is superb. I think if you keep hitting the wood, you also break it into sticks, which might be incredibly valuable later. I have to go chicken, chicken, chicken. Let's go chicken. I'm checking on the meat. I like that. It serves up the meat on a nice little vine leaf there. It says, "I'm ready. Come and get me." And there's definitely going to be no berries around here. <laughs> but I don't think berries grow in the desert. Maybe there'll be a different food source. That's why I was thinking that these trees might have. Yielded coconuts. Perhaps they still do. I wonder if we stand in the shade. Does that help in any way? Temperature still goes up. Oh, the shade does work this time. Now, oh, start setting our target for the next location. Deactivate you, close it, and we will take this one with us. Tree sap. Oh, what is this? A natural adhesive used in concrete and epoxy. Oh, I didn't know you could collect this. What time of day have we got? It's one in the afternoon. We should probably head... Oh, there's an elephant. I think. It walks like an elephant. Oh, for God's sake. Cougar attack. Oh, I haven't crafted any more arrows. Where am I... But oh, I need to uh, need to actually select them. All right, Monsieur Cougar. Sorry, sorry, not sorry. There's another one, isn't there? Well, at least they're easier to kill, but they do a lot of damage before you get them deaded. I've got so much raw meat now; it's ridiculous. And I'm now over encumbered again. Oh dear lord. Uh, let's get rid of the charcoal. Is that... Oh god. Would you just give me five seconds apiece please game. I can drop the, the spoiled meat. There is actually a perk I noticed on the on the skill tree that allows you to be able to consume spoiled meat. I've got a lot of meat to cook. Some of it's going to spoil along the way. But I want to head up here because this is... Oh, I love the animals. Brilliant. Yeah, there's a there's actually a target. There is a specific thing we have to go do. And it's roughly in this direction. Got to be careful. I'm, I'm very, very... Overweight. <laughs> Not me personally. I run a lot, so I... I seem to get rid of any excess lately. Now, where we've got to build somewhere that that's determined as relatively safe. I run up the river. Does it keep me cool? It does it's beautiful? So we've got to collect the radar from some drop pod. Let's hope it's not up there. Ah, oh, how convenient. There it is. Alright, so we've got our thing. Now we've got to scan three locations. Okay, it's very familiar to the one of the first missions we ever did. First scan location is all the way over here. So, where should I consider building? And there are other perks that allow you to, you know, f harvest more. Oh, cactus! This might give us a little bit of, what, fluid? Maybe? Uh, fiber, tree sap, and wood. Interesting. I was hoping for, a, you know, some fluid or something. But I'll take whatever they've got, to be honest. Oh, God. Yeah. 
Okay. <sighs> these boys, these boys are tough. Bone arrows. Get a few more of them done. It's another way of, sort of managing the, the inventory weight as well. A weather event coming. Oh, for God's sake. Really great timing, game. Thank you. Alright, I don't know. Um, I wonder if this would be a good place to start. Okay. Oh, I forgot to build a door. <laughs> no. Okay, we've got shelter. I have to put a door in here in a minute. <laughs> uh, that was a little bit silly. I can't get out, but I can at least look out. Okay, um, now, before we get any further, have I got enough stuff to craft a bedroll? Oh, damn it. No, I don't. I need more fiber and sticks, but I've got enough of everything else. Is a door here going to work? Hmm. If it doesn't work, we can always destroy it. Can I get out? If I can, I can get out nicely. It's sort of a hidden entrance. But I can't, I can't leave. <laughs> oh, that's a no. Okay, we put that in the wrong place then. Okay, destroy that with the Y button. And... We'll stick the wood wall, the door there. Lovely. Now, what can we do? We need to get a door. So if I destroy this guy, I get to six fire and ten wood back. That allows me to craft a door. It's genius. Zero. Door done. Nice. Now, we have to get... What did I need? Fiber and... Fiber and sticks. Not too many of them, but we need them before the sun sets. Right, fiber and sticks. Where are you? God, I've come to the most barren place. <laughs> there is none around. Seriously. I mean, I know it's a desert, but come on. Oh, thank God. Here we go. We've got a few. That might just be enough. Oh, but there's a Jaguar down there. And there's one right here. Sorry, a cougar. It's a dead cougar. Okay, well, there's definitely going to be no shortage of meat <laughs> in this biome. I think that's probably the point, though. Is that, you know, they know you're going to not really be able to get any fruit or vegetables in your diet here so easily. So they give you plenty of other food resources. Elephants? What a shot. I mean, come on. This game. It is stunning. Bedroll. Hell yes. Let's get that done. And get back home because we're going to have to sleep the night out. Now, I saw something in one of the tech, tech tree things which said you can pretty much swim underwater as long as you like without worrying about your oxygen dropping. Um, but then one of the items in the tech tree says increase or reduce the amount of oxygen you, you use. Very hard to see where I'm going. Oh! Uh, when you when you're in the oh the flames have gone out as well I can't even I can't even see that can I craft a torch I can't craft a torch I don't know where I am I have to try and get up there um well who who decided it was a good idea to build a house here go in can you please go in my house there we go <laughs> we have to sort out the entrance. A little bit better than that. Okay. That's good though. So, um, the, the, the light was on, but there was nobody home. <laughs> um, alright, let's sleep. Oh, I didn't set my spawn point. I have to do that when we wake up. Okay, well, that's pretty much it for the, the base. I don't think I'm going to do anything more exciting than this. But I should probably build just one wooden platform here. Mm -hmm. Still open? Oh, that's going to make it a little easier to get to. 
And I just thought it might be a, might be a good place to put a, pla a, a base, but I've, I've got a horrible feeling that if animals decide... Oh no, they won't be able to climb up there, will they? So actually, it's just, you know, big brain stuff. <gasps> Look at this beautiful creature. I'm a bit scared to get too close. Just standing in awe. It's feel it really does feel like that. I'm probably gonna get claimed now for singing that. Right, let's turn the fire off. Whee! <laughs> oh, this is the most fun I've not had in a long time. Right, aim for the door. That's all we need to do. There we go. And remember to get back. Uh, 20 wood. Oh, I could probably just let that cook out now. Let me take what's cooked with me, or most of what's cooked with me. Wow. Wow. One hit. Okay, use the bone knife for some skinning. Res resources aren't really a problem. When it comes to uh, dead animals, so that might be some of the things I sacrifice. Is that a hyena? I don't like those things. They bite hard. What might be an idea to do is actually run down the river, keeping cool in the desert heat. Fill up our stomachs along the way. They always say that, you know, if you're hungry, make sure you've drunk enough water because you might be actually just a bit thirsty. God, I thought they were cave paintings or something. Except they're not in a cave, just paintings. <laughs> they don't technically count as cave paintings unless they're in a cave, you idiot. Gorgeous things. I have to say, they're stunning to look at. Very nicely animated as well. Hi. Don't stop on my account. Keep, you know, keep on moving. You alright? Got no quarrel here. I don't need your bones. I've got plenty from the other ones. It's amazing. Right, so I think... Our scanning location is up there. But how do we get up there? Let's wait for the map to uh, defog a little bit. There it is. Hmm. Unless, unless I've missed it. Oh, it must be up on top. Oh, God. So how do we get up there from here? I don't know. I suppose I have to go all the way to the end of this river and climb up around the outside. Wow. We've got the Arctic zones not too far away. Yeah, it is up here. Okay. Well, as suspected... Ha oh. <laughs> ha! Shot in the back. The cowardly way. I'm gonna leave you there, my friend. Can you pet a zebra? Hi. <laughs> oh, that's a no. What we should really see here, like, smaller creatures like snakes and scorpions. Well, not that I want to see anyth anything like that. Right, here is our first beacon position. Well, here we are. You know what to do? Yeah. Now, you remember what happened last time? <sighs> we got ambushed. Looks like the unit's ready. Right. Scanning. Scanning. We're going to get attacked. I don't feel like being Hollywood heroic today and like looking down below and then back at the enemy and just jumping. Nothing's coming. Those things are not happy. 
Oh, here we go. There is some not not happy things. Where are the not happy things? Get lost. No, you can't do this. That's ridiculous. Something happened. Need Something happened. Oh, yes. A giant elephant landed on the scanner mates. I would have thought that much was obvious. Oh, God. Move. Yep. Yeah. He's down. Wow. I feel like Legolas. Give me all my arrows. Okay, we got him, we got him. Right, I'll be back for your body in a minute. So let's just get this going. Looks like the unit's ready. Yeah, why is, this, why is it so dark? Is it me? Am I hot or something? It's, there's a very weird feel to this. Right, so apparently we can skin this elephant. And I'm dying to see what an elephant looks like from the inside. We ain't done here, though. Huh? Check your map. Oh, it's done. Location. Uh, X to pick up. Got it, got it, got it. Nice. Okay, hi, you know, you're, you're making me nervous. I'm sorry. Buddy, but you gotta go. Elephant, can I? I mean, look, look, he attacked me, okay? Only four pieces of meat from an elephant? You've gotta be kidding me. I've got 250 bones. Well, we're not gonna be short of arrows today, are we? Uh, let's. So I can build 54 of the damn things. Okay, well I might need the bones for something else, so let's just do f 39. Precisely. That's exactly the amount I wanted to craft. We're going to check the map. For our next zone. Where's the next location? Oh my god! They're miles away! Wow, we might have to have more, more than one base in this place. More than one base in this place. Um, but it makes sense to actually head back to my base. It's sort of here. Before we set off for those, it's in the right in the right direction. But how to get there? Jumping down feels like a foolish thing to do. But by the time we get down that end of this cliff, it might be a little easier. So we'll go along the top. Uh oh. Honestly, you're making me look good. You really are making me look good. Okay, this, this might kill me. I'm trying to scale these cliffs like this, but I think they're being pretty kind in the way they've, they've built them up, you know? It does let you get down. And we've got a sandstorm incoming, but while we're here, just, just appreciate this view. I'm already taking storm exposure. You are kidding me because I'm so high up. Oh, God. Get to this ledge. <gasps> oh, my God. I've broken my leg. I can't move. I'm over-encumbered because I can't carry this much weight. Oh, God. Ah. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. It's all about the stone, isn't it? Right, you've got to go. Here we go. We've got enough weight now so we can move. But... So much damage. We've got storm damage, a broken leg, and we're overheating. Cougar is waiting for us to fall down nicely down there. Oh god. Try the next stupid thing I'm about to try. Because I have to get down. I can't go any I can't go any anywhere else. It's not that far. It's gonna hurt. I'm gonna break the other leg. Oh god. Ah. Well we're down. Did I just drop my bow? I just dropped the bone. Oh well, I built another one. <laughs> I can't, there's no cave for me to hide in. Oh, there's a, <laughs> a nice arrow in the background there. I have to get down here. Can I dig a hole in this rock? No, because it's not mineable. God damn you, game. Oh. Now I'm 
Now I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, thankfully, the devs put in an unstuck thing, which moves you a little bit. Very useful. But I'm still stuck. Why? Is it because I... I'm going to die. I can't move. Seriously. No. Not moving me. I can't just... I've got a level up. Oh, thank God. So if I die now, I don't drop that level. I'm at level 20, people. All I can do, I can just stand here and hope that the storm is what's making me back to the spot. Right, I have to wait for the broken leg to heal. <laughs> the storm's coming to an end. I'm, I'm overheated. I've got a broken leg. I can't hide. I just want to go home. My broken leg is about to miraculously fuse back together. There it is. Oh, that's what it was. So I just couldn't move because I, I must have broken it so severely. And just as that happens, the storm abates as well. Oh. How exciting! <laughs> that was so cool. Did you enjoy that? I guess I can now carry more weight. Yeah, back to 100 kilograms. So it drops it by half. Dude. Right. In third person, he is a terrible miner. What an adventure. I quite like this uh, biome, but it's, it's certainly nowhere near as comfortable as our uh, forest biome, is it? A lot more punishing. Certainly if you decide to go climbing. <laughs> Wouldn't recommend it. There is a... Oh, do you know what? It didn't tell me that I could use it, but there, I've no, I remember now there is a splint that you can, you can craft. Perhaps that... I don't know, would that have fixed the leg or would that have just allowed me to still carry as much stuff? Maybe both. Maybe neither. Oh, look at that. Not a cheetah. A cougar and a cheetah both having a little swim. Having a little dip dip. A little skinny dip. Too easy, my friend. God, we've got another one. Should probably think about killing one of every animal in the game. We've killed an elephant, cougars. We just hadn't yet killed an antelope. We just got the chamois. Is he cocking his leg on my oxide? I gotta breathe that later. Now we've got a long way to go. A very, very long way to go. This was the first location where we got attacked by an elephant, <laughs> which was kind of cool. But we've got to get to these other two locations to scan. Now, there are so many beasts in this place. I just, I mean, you can't move for being attacked by a cougar or a, a what do you call them, a hyena. They're everywhere. There's so many things that want to kill you. Um, and I've, I've just left my home base. I've left the, the, uh, the, 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 the bed in there, the roll-up bed in there. So if we die, at least we know where we're going to come back to. But I'm thinking, because this next two locations are so far away. And there's somewhere over there, but I don't even know how we can even get there. We can't go down that way. This is all blocked by cliffs, so I think we're going to have to travel up the stream here. The reason for all of this collection is because I've unlocked a few things, basically. Uh, I have unlocked, well, I need the crafting bench to get it, but I've unlocked the fur armor. Um, main reason for that is because we're going to need it if we're going into the Arctic, which will probably be the next mission. But the Arctic poses a challenge of its own. But you must be able to craft those things while you're there, so we'll, we'll find that out probably in the next episode. But that's going to be the next mission I do. The Arctic Exploration. And we're going to try in that one to get a few items that we've never unlocked before. I've taken a few of the, the talent points. Sorry, the uh, blueprint points. Grab those. I, got, I didn't realise I got... F How have I got five talent points? 
That's weird. I shouldn't have five. Oh, this would be quite a cool place to stick a camp. Again, I don't know whether what I'm recording now will make it into the same episode as that elephant attack. Or this will be a video in its own right by the time you watch it. I have no idea. It all depends on what happens next, really. It is currently 9.50 in the morning, and we're approaching our second destination of the day. Well, there's another massive waterfall. You probably can't see it from where you are, but there's a huge waterfall up ahead. Okay. I love the, uh, I love the landscape here. It is so good looking. This looks like a way down. The safest looking thing I've seen for a while, so we're doing it. Hmm. Okay, do it, do it, do it. That's fine. Didn't hurt a bit. God, this one might. Uh. Yeah, slight problem. I can't get back up either. Oh no. What if I go... Oh, do you know what? This might be a little cheeky. But if I go unstuck... Ah! <laughs> it put me down on the ground. <gasps> That's a right old cheat. I wonder if I can do that in other places. That's so cool. I was stuck on the cliff, man. Just let me down. That was perfect. Well, we found a, a new little exploit to help us down the cliff faces. I don't know if anyone else knew that, but that's a great tip. I promise I was stuck. I promise. Uh oh. I can hear them chuckling. Oh, look at that. Hello. Yeah, dude. You know, you bang your head against a brick wall often enough, you realise you might want to turn around. Oh, look. More. points for stealth damage. I'm just killing I'm just killing needlessly now. Oh, it's just I mean I don't need to do that. <laughs> but I'm gonna. Oh, that one right nostril. Uh-oh. Oh god. Okay, I'm sorry. Can you two fight each other instead of me? Oh god! Uh, everybody is dead. And none of my arrows. <laughs> none of my arrows can be retrieved. Well, that was interesting. A great way to level up, though. never gonna get old it really isn't and there are guns to be developed later on you know but I'm, I've got a feeling I'm still gonna use that oh I unlocked um, the longbow looks way cooler than this but again I think I need a crafting bench to be able to actually put it together oh that wasn't even the one I was aiming at Oh, I hit level 21 too. Uh oh. Down. Get down. Oh, look at that. We've got a little love nest over here. The zebra and the elephant. Trying to make... Z elephants. Won't work, guys. You're just not made for each other. There you go. A little bit of an understanding there. I think... I think... I might have to... Oh, I can't dig into these. What's going on? Those are too small. These are too big. I feel like Goldilocks wandering around the desert now. We'll find a rock that is just right in a minute. 
what I mean. A crouch. No, it's not helping. Oh, there you go! Managed to get just inside a rock and glitch my way into shelter. So we're really close to our next location. I don't know how much I've left in the video, but I, I, I just had to bury myself in a rock. We've come a flipping long way. And it took ages to get here. But we are very close to the next location. We've got to get it done quickly. Oh God. They come out of nowhere. Thank you. You can keep one arrow. What will chase us this time? And do I have enough arrows to fend them off? 32 arrows. I thought I had a lot more than that. How many more can we build? Wow, way too many. Get rid of some of that. Okay. This is the place. You know what to do. Yeah. Sticking it down, sir. Interacting with it, sir. Okay. Station. Activated. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Something is gonna come and try and destroy my fun. What are we gonna get? A Whoa, they don't look friendly. 56 complete. Oh, maybe not. Oh, hold up. Something is coming. Oh, that was a nice shot. Not, not quite in the head, though. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. So we had a single, a single Jaguar. Where in the last time we had a fuck off elephant. Good. We're reading the station. We're reading it's it. Active. Good, good. Keep, just keep reading. I'm going to try and keep breathing. Wherever we go, we've got to get, we got to get water quickly. Thankfully, the first You're place is soon. Good. Oh, it's Time done. Excellent. Next marker should be on your map. Right, just go. Cougar inbound. Not the good kind. Are there any good kinds? Right, we got to move. We've got to get to water or shelter. And maybe I just have to bury in a rock and last through the night. I could bury myself here. Okay, let me see if I can craft something quickly. Get out of this menu! Ah! Okay, I think I've deaded him. Now the elephant's interested. Hi! Just bugger off, please. Could you? Would you mind awfully? Moving on. Move on. No, go. Just go. You're fine. I'm not going to attack you. You don't need to stand there and look at me like that. This is... <laughs> <laughs> So, so I built my my house with a hyena ass decoration in the in the in the back there. And whatever I got to do, I got to lay this down quick. Lay it down. Go there. Oh, that might be the worst place to put it. I'm gonna wake up and walk straight into the fire. That'll do. Spawn point set. Thank God for that. Good morning, everybody. Well, that was close. Oh, look at that. Didn't decay overnight. For well, this is our next adventure. The Plains of Africa. Okay. Think. I think you didn't hit me, and that the game was being kind to you, my friend. No way you made contact there. I was backtracking, man. I was like a ninja. Come on then, poor pussy. <laughs> that was the left eyeball. Oh, you almost feel sorry for them. Of course, the other advantage of having slept the night is I get this healing bonus and health buff. Uh, which increases the stamina, stamina generation as well. So it's, it's a, such a good idea to do. Now, what will be the best way? 
heard you before I saw you this time. I'm getting used to it. It's that I don't really have the volume up too loud, so just hearing that very low drum beat, which is hard to do when you talk all the time when you're recording video. How close are we? We were right on top of it, so it can't be up on that cliff. There it is. Okay, the final scanning place, and I'm lucky I've got a really decent amount of health this here. This is precise as the data gets. See what you can find. But who knows? Looks like the unit's ready. Yeah, it is ready, but what's going to attack us this time? We had a one elephant last time. We had a single cougar. The next. Oh, what to expect. I'm going to hide up here. Whatever's coming, it shouldn't come from this location, right? So I'm going stealth mode. Looks like the party started. Yeah, here we go. Stay here we sharp. go. If they come from the left, the game sucks. What do you suppose it'll be? Because they should just be drawn towards the scanner. Okay, and it's 70% complete. Where is whatever is coming is coming? Oh, okay. You lost power. You'll need to turn it on again. There's nothing there. Okay. Hyenas haven't got a bloody clue what's going on. These are tougher to kill than cougars. Though I thought that the animals would okay. destroy the uh, unit. Station activated. But no such luck. Alright, we good? Once we're done, that's it. We can get out of here. Yeah, it should be over in seconds. We might even have enough time. Okay. Get all the way it. back in one day. Scans finished. We're clear. Okay, picking up the station and then what? Anything else? I don't no. know. I reckon this one's just about over. So we can go back to the dropship or can we just jettison out of here? No, that's it. So what is it? We just yeah, back to the dropship then. I mean, I'm on fire. And what is going on? It can't be this easy. <laughs> Murdering innocent passing animals who have no idea I'm even here. I mean, come on. They don't call me Dead-Eyed Dick for nothing. In fact, they don't call me Dead-Eyed Dick, but if, if they did call me anything, it would be that. I think I see one. <laughs> oh, it's so unfair. There we go. We got it. Level 22. One more talent point. That was seven talent points. 18 blueprint points. I've really got to read more about them. You know, what do I want to put my points into? The talent ones are the ones I'm worried about now. Having found out, you can only actually get 40 of them. Oh, that noise. Well, here we are, finally back at the dropship. Now, what I've loved about this environment more than anything are the views. I, it just looks amazing. And I am going to miss this part of the planet, but no doubt we will be back. Death ray. What, pa what part of that was a death ray? I'm not quite sure what that meant. But it is done. The reward, 150 more of these points. We didn't get any, I think this symbol is exotics. So when you mine exotics, which we've yet to find yet, yet to find yet, I know what I meant. We haven't found them yet, but they exist down on some of the planets. This one, however, didn't relinquish any. But this one might be the next one I try because I have been able to unlock the furry armor, the insulated furry armor. So we're gonna probably go for that one next. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Whatever it is I choose to do, I hope you're going to join me for it. Thanks for watching. All the very best. Please leave a like if you can. Good night.